Hi, this is Dr. Sunanda Kane. I'm a professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm part of the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Center there. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about cetons. So cetons are literally pieces of string or rubber band that a surgeon places in the inside of a fistula tract. And why would somebody do that? So a fistula is an abnormal connection between a piece of bowel and another part of the body. So in Crohn's disease, we talk about fistulas that are around the bottom, so a perianal fistula, and these often get inflamed and then infected with abscesses and pus and because there's bacteria from the stool passing through here. So, in conjunction with a colorectal surgeon, the gastroenterologist, teams up with that surgeon and a patient under anesthesia has this seton placed in the tract and the reason that that's placed there is to purposely allow for that area to drain so that it doesn't accumulate to, to create a big abscess that then needs drainage by cutting open things. So once the seton has been placed and there is drainage, the drainage tends to minimize and, and drop off. It doesn't go away altogether until the gastroenterologist then has initiated some sort of medical therapy to help this heal. Cetons are anywhere from the size and the width of a piece of string or dental floss to a fairly large rubber band. And the, the, the choice is based on the size of the track of that fistula. So once that seton is in place, then we start medical therapy, and as the fistula starts to dry out and heal, then the seton, depending on its size, can be changed to make it smaller, or it can be totally removed. And that, um, that seton can be removed at the bedside. You don't need another operation to have it removed, because it's literally a, a, a rubber band that we just cut and pull out. So cetons can be very helpful to take care of controlling the infection and the abscesses that can happen from perianal fistulas. Cetons can be there for days to weeks to months to years. Some people have cetons that are there for a long, long time, and they are necessary so that they don't collect up any uh, pus and make abscesses and they just may have more difficult time in healing and so the seton stays there longer. We can certainly change out a seton to freshen it so that it doesn't get old and gross, but a seton isn't necessarily for forever, but it certainly isn't just for one or two days. So hopefully that's helpful to understand the role of a seton in the, in the management of perianal Crohn's disease.